So you have the ability to point your spacecraft in any direction you need to with a very, very high degree of precision. But how is it that you actually know where you're pointed in the first place? Well, that is the realm of attitude determination that is closely related to attitude control. The amount of attitude determination, usually this is easier to do than attitude control, so you usually have a higher precision of your pointing than you do with an attitude control mechanism. But your attitude determination needs to be at least as good as your requirements for pointing are, or else what does it matter if you're super accurately pointed if you don't know if that's the right direction you need to point? Now, how is it that we determine the attitude? Uh, there are a number of different ways that do it, but basically you have to have a couple of vectors where you know exactly what direction the spacecraft is pointed. If you know what way the spacecraft is pointed from one point, well, you know part of the solution, but you don't know how you're rotated around that one point. So you need two different vectors in order to know exactly what the orientation is of the spacecraft. So there are a couple of different ways they can get vectors. Uh, this is the, the high-end solution, is uh, using some kind of a star tracker. So there are a couple of different ways that these can work. They, generally speaking, um, you either line up, you point your spacecraft at a particular star and a couple of bright stars, you can get its, its location exactly determined on some kind of an imaging array, or the Apollo astronauts actually used a sextant to figure out exactly where it was using uh, optical telescopes. And once you know exactly where it is, you can plot that into your computer and you have one point, then you can get a second star and you have your two points and you can determine your attitude exactly. Um, so on the left is an image of what this might look like. If you had a multiple stars, such as you can see here, that you can clearly identify, you can do this with a single image because you can figure out the orientation based off of the orientation of the cluster of stars and you can, can figure out where you are pointed if you can figure out the, the unique constellation and make sure that it matches with your, your lens. Um, this is a couple of examples of what some of these star trackers actually look like, although they can vary considerably. You could use the Earth's magnetic field. Now, if you know exactly where you are, which there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do it with GPS. You can do it with updated ephemeris from the ground where you you have some sort of ground-based tracking of the satellite to determine where it is. You can upload the state vector to the spacecraft, and the spacecraft can just propagate that and figure out where you're pointed. And as long as you keep it relatively up-to-date, you know exactly where you are. You can use magnetic sensors in the spacecraft to determine where you, the mag, what the magnetic field of the Earth is pointed like. Now, you have to bias out. There will be some biases on the spacecraft because there are some magnets, inevitably, either with the magnetorquers. You prefer to do this when you're not running the, the magnetorquers or some passive magnets or possibly something with the the radio system might have some magnets or there might be other places who knows where all of these magnets are coming from but you sense where this magnetic sensor is coming from you try to get it away from the spacecraft body if you can and then once you know that then you can know how to orient your you can figure out how it's aligned with the earth's magnetic field you take a map of what the earth's magnetic field should be where you're at and you have one of these vectors that you can use to determine where you are so this can be quite helpful and, and as accurate as a star tracker if you have all the required data. On the right, you have a sun tracker. So this thing can just sense where the sun is and the sun can be one of your vectors as well. It's pretty easy to see. You don't need anything too fancy as you can see this thing is to get a pretty high accuracy of where the sun's pointed. Another way you can do it is with some kind of a horizon sensor. So on the Apollo program, they could use the sun, the Earth's or the moon's horizon. They could plot where it was, and that could be one of their points of reference to determine where the spacecraft was pointed. So this is an example of what, uh, what these might look like. And on the right, you have 
what most of the the spacecraft or missiles or whatever have that are traveling through space they have some sort of what's called an internal measurement unit an imu that this can sense the rotation of the spacecraft and the acceleration as well and so you can use that information once you know where you're pointed once you can use that information to determine where you're pointed and you just periodically update these because these do tend to to have a little bit of inaccuracy that is gained over time and you will continue to be pointed in a direction that you know exactly where it is once you know where it is you are more than capable of keeping your spacecraft oriented in the direction you need to so that's all we have for this time let me know whatever questions you guys have about attitude determination or other space exploration topics Thank you much for joining me on this journey, and until next time, keep on tracking. Take care.